Hello everyone, this is Alex and I have four projects to share with you in this video and I will be using the foliage paste creativity kit which I fell in love with because of the gorgeous watercolor markers and uh, this beautiful stamp set and dies. Uh, my goal was to use uh, the supplies that are in the kit exclusively so that you could see how truly versatile this kit is. I started to work on my cards by heat embossing images in antique gold embossing powder. I inked up the stamps with clear embossing ink and stamped the images on a hot pressed watercolor paper. And uh, I then covered them with Alta New gold embossing powder and used my heat tool and I melted the powder in place and I then treated my craft card stock with anti-static powder and uh, stamped my image on craft card stock, covered uh, the card stock with Alta New Gold powder and uh, heat embossed it. Uh, next I embossed my sentiments with the same uh, gold embossing powder on black card stock. My images are ready for coloring and I will be using watercolor brush markers. So for my first card I will be using purple wine, crimson, sun-kissed and a fresh lemon and paper bag. And I then had some relaxing coloring time. To color my next image I will be using a turquoise paper bag and fresh lemon colors. And this time I'm using the wet and wet technique, uh, which means that before coming in with pigment I first used uh, some water.
Once my coloring was done, I decut the image with the coordinating dies and uh, I used mini blossom die cutting machine from Altenew. This is my first finished card and uh, to make this first card I die cut the mega, die, the mega hope die a few times in pink cardstock and once in yellow glitter cardstock and I then glued all the pink layers together and adhered them to the glitter layer. Next I splotted uh, the purple wine watercolor on my white card base. I then glued my flowers in the middle of the card and added the die cut sentiment hope. And then to finish off my card, I added a few glitter drops. For the second card I temporarily glued flower they cut on cardstock to make a perfect trimming. And once my panel with die cuts was trimmed I took the image off and uh, I then mounted these die cuts on craft card base with foam tape. I glued the hit embossed sentiment label that says stay awesome and uh, added several gold sequins. My next card is a very simple card. I used one of the flower day cards I got for the first card. To make a background I used acrylic block stamping technique. I spritzed my acrylic block with water, added fresh lemon watercolor and pressed it against white cardstock. I then added watercolor splatters using the purple wine marker. I adhere the floor die cut and the hit embossed sentiment stripe that says to my fabulous friend with foam tape. And to finish off my card I added a few black crystals. These are my finished cards, but I have one more card to share with you today. My last card features watercolor negative painting technique. It allows you to make vibrant and attractive backgrounds and combine this technique and the stencils you already have opens the door to many new looks and uh, it's easy, I'll show you how it's easy to do. I took my round brush and uh, apply clean water over the paper. I used just enough water to make the paper shiny. I used this at night watercolor marker. I allow this first layer to dry completely before proceeding to the next step and in order to make the process faster and the wait time shorter, use the heat gun to dry in between layers. Next I used the stencil from the kit and a simple pencil to draw leaves.
I then applied a second layer of paint uh, using the same color as before. This time I painted around the leaves you just sketched using the stencil. Like in the first step, I waited for this layer to completely dry before moving on to the next. The next step was to repeat it that I did in the first step. I drew leaves with a pencil using the stencil and uh, I then added the next color layer, carefully painting around each new leaf. I used uh, the same color as before, but uh, I used a more saturated blue color in order to darken the tint. I added uh, the color layer, carefully painting around each new leaf. Once my panel was dried, I trimmed it and I then added gold and white paint splatters. I then mounted the panel onto a card base with foam tape. Next, I die cut the Mega Hope die a few times in gold cardstock and once in yellow glitter cardstock and I glued them together with displacement. To make the more attractive look of my card, I decided to use a piece of vellum I glued a piece of vellum and then glued the die cut sentiment hope on my card and finally I embellished the card using yellow sequins. That's it from me for today. Uh, thank you so much for spending time with me. I hope I was able to inspire you with my cards. And thank you so much, Alton, you for having me.